There's now a neighborhood in Bean Station has been dealing with flood water draining from Highway 11W and directed toward their homes. Yeah, that's right. You know, one place has been repeatedly hard hit. The yard belongs to a great grandmother who started a petition to have repairs made. She's even written to the governor's office and received a response. WATE 6 on your side. Consumer reporter Don Dare went to Bean Station to see firsthand how the high water has affected artist Roberts. Well, Elizabeth, while Mrs. Roberts, a retired hairstylist, is mild-mannered, she is quite a fighter. About every spring in East Tennessee, when conditions are right, rain will fall for days. Once the ground is saturated and the water has nowhere to go and it continues to rain, many areas will flood. This is what Artist Roberts' yard looks like after several days of steady, drenching rain. It comes from uh, the field up in there and comes through this drain right here, down here on me. It all goes back here in my backyard. The whole backyard fills up? Yeah, whole backyard fills up. You've been dealing with this? For a long time, yeah. The most recent heavy rainfall in Bean Station was late last month. Until last month, Mrs. Roberts' propane gas tank was set up on concrete blocks, but water surrounded it after three days of steady rain. Your gas tank had been over there? Yes, it had. And I had to get the fire department to come out here because it floats on the water. And uh, they come out here and unhook it and brought it up to here. And now I've got to get somebody to get it back. Sometimes the water will get as high as five to six feet. Once the city tried to create a big drain field in Mrs. Roberts' backyard. They dug uh, 200 feet up through there and uh, put big rock in there to try to take care of the water. And see these holes that's coming in here? That's from where they dug and put them rock in there. I'm getting tired of it, yeah. I am. I mean, I work on it every year trying to get something done. Engineers confirm the flooding starts from this concrete storm drain. When water runs off the right-of-way on Highway 11W and Bean Station, it's directed down a long concrete drain that runs in front of Barnard's Grove Baptist Church where it's squeezed into an 18-inch pipe that runs under a church entrance and then rushes into a field that is sloped toward artists' front yard and that of others. This is where we, I got a petition. Dozens of people in her neighborhood signed this petition last year, agreeing that the drainage problem needs to be repaired. I've been working on this for over 20 years, trying to get something done about this water. In February of last year, Mrs. Roberts sent a letter to Tennessee Governor Bill Lee asking for state assistance. The Department of Transportation Commissioner responded saying, while water storm drainage issues within a city is that municipality's responsibility, the commissioner said the state is working with the local utility district to modify and redirect the runoff directed toward her property. Typically, it's like a six-month process. Tammy Wilson is director of the Bean Station Utility District. She says the plan by the district to correct the drainage problem is underway. DOT's project is to repair that drainage ditch. In the process of that, we have to move a 12-inch water line. So we're in the process of getting the plans to move that water line so they can go in there and do some repairs. For Mrs. Roberts, the repairs to stop the flooding can't come soon enough. I want it fixed so I won't get all this water. Now, once the utility district's engineers complete their plans, TDOT will first have to relocate a water line off Highway 11W. The utility district estimates the start of the project, as you heard, is at least six months away. Mrs. Roberts says although there will likely be more heavy rain in the months ahead, she is pleased that at last some progress is being made. Elizabeth? Thank you very much, Don. And if you have a consumer question for Don, you can go ahead, send him an email at ddare at wate.com, or you can call his six on your side hotline. You see that number there on your screen, 865-633-5974.